Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be sharing my autumn night routine with you. Honestly, I cannot tell you how excited I am that it's finally autumn again. Um, it feels like the world is new again. Ruby, look at this. This is Wallace and Gromit tea. More tea, Gromit. Isn't that cute? You've got the wrong powder, Mom, Gromit. Mmm, <laughs> smells good. The fact that all the colours are changing on the trees and that there's a chill in the air, it's utterly magical and reminds me why I love this season so much. But I'm getting distracted, the night routine. So on days that I am working, the first thing I will do is change into something comfortable, namely a big cosy knitted jumper. There is nothing like a big cosy knitted jumper. And honestly, the first thing I want to do is just decompress because I'm usually very, very tired and the best way to do that is to read. I am sitting outside today because it was unusually warm and I'm reading Charlotte Bronte's Juvenilia at the moment, which I am loving. I was not expecting to love this so much. My favorite is the Mary stories, the Mary piece. Um, it's actually just really sad and really reminds me of both Jane Eyre, but also Milton. Like you can definitely see the Miltonic influence coming through with her early work. Mum, do you want to come on a walk with me? Not today, I'm afraid. I've already been for two walks. Probably about half of the time we will go on a walk in the evening, like my mum, my sister and I, but today it's not going to happen yeah. because mum's already had two walks. I don't want to go on a walk by myself. I was looking forward to going Martha, on a walk Martha. together. No, but Martha doesn't want to. Even Lola's worn out. Look. Yeah, look, Lo I, I said, Lo Lola, do you want to go on a walk? And she just stayed there because she's had two already. You're really tired, aren't you? So usually we do like to go on a walk because it's a great way to talk about what we got up to that day and just spend some time together. But also evening walks are just so lovely. I can't quite put my finger on why they are different from daytime walks or even morning walks. There's something about that slow goodbye to the day and acknowledgement that the day is coming to a close. So then next I will unpack my bag. Um, I always like to clear out my coffee cup as well because I always bring a coffee with me to work. And then I will just pack my bag with anything that I need for the next day because it's always best to do this as soon as you get in. Otherwise, I guarantee, at least I would forget. I would definitely forget. Um, so this way you can just like pick it up in the morning and not have to worry. Also, my room is looking so cozy. There's something about the pumpkin bedding. I genuinely think it's all about the pumpkin bedding, but I sat down at my desk. Um, so straight after work, I like to spend a couple of hours doing YouTube related things. I will just do some YouTube admin and get anything done on my to-do list that I wasn't able to get done before work. All right, so next it's time to cook dinner. And this month, actually, I'm trying to have the longevity minestrone soup every single day. The one in the Blue Zones documentary, which the longest living family in the world eats. I just want to see how I feel on it. So um, I've been making this and it's actually delicious. I'm kind of obsessed with this soup. Should boil the pasta first. We're also adding some leeks because leeks are the superior vegetable. 
just one leek. Give that a stir. And then next we're going to add a can of chopped tomatoes. And we need some vegetable stock. And whenever the evening is beautiful, like tonight, I like to go outside. I just adore this cusp between day and night. This light where everything looks different, everything looks strange and new, and you're forced without doing anything to gain a new perspective. I mean, just look at the sky this evening. It was glowing, it was unlike any colour I'd ever seen before, and it reminds me of that line in The Book Thief, where the character of Death reminds us that the sky is a unique colour every single day. So next I like to do what I call learning drills and these are things that you habitually do to make sure that you're working towards your learning goals and this is something I've done since schools so when I was at school when I was doing GCSEs and A-levels I would make sure to do a paragraph of essay practice every single evening and I would also work on bond angles for chemistry because it was something that I really struggled with and I'd have these like habits that I'd have to check through every single night before I finished doing work. These have changed since I've left formal education um, and now every evening I like to go through my commonplace book and also just write some learning reflections for the day but having these habits having these non-negotiables genuinely is so useful and this is where Pearson comes in. Pearson is the world's leading learning company and Pearson offers so many resources for GCSE and A-level students to make sure that you get the top grades possible. You can do revision and exam practice and use resources which are related to the exams you will be taking which of course is very useful. So if you're at GCSE or A-level something like Pearson is a great habitual thing that you can do every night to make sure that you are doing very granular like specific and relevant exam practice that is going to help you in your final exam. They have so many printed revision resources things like flashcards which honestly I'm kind of jealous about because making flashcards was so time consuming and there are also workbooks where you can do practice questions. Crucially these are exam board specific learning resources and there are even examiner report boxes and uh, kind of notations to see where other students uh, kind of slipped up in exams where you might potentially slip up. So if you're at GCSE or A-level, I would definitely recommend taking a look at Pearson's exam resources. They also have an ebook subscription service, which costs only £2.50 per month. And with this, you get access to all of their study guides, uh, which are exam specific. So you can choose your exam board and then find the relevant study guide for you, which has everything in it that you would need for revising. Ultimately, Pearson is committed to equalizing opportunity, working with schools to make sure that everyone has access to education, um, because education is the most important thing. So if you want to check out Pearson, there will be a link in the description box. Pearson does offer a seven day free trial where you can get access to their ebook subscription um, or you can also have a look at the physical products that they offer. Um, but thank you so much Pearson for sponsoring this part of the video. Um, as I say, habitual kind of learning drills are genuinely so useful and they become non-negotiable if they're part of your night routine. So I'm now going to move into showing you the ones that I do every night at the moment. Um, the first thing is just doing 30 minutes of studying. Um, any kind of studying and I just choose something off my studying to-do list for that week and do that. So that's what I'm going to do now.
So for the 30 minute study task today, I just read an article. Um, it was on book magic in Charlotte Bronte's uh, Juvenilia and it was interesting. Not the best article I've read on her Juvenilia though. It was quite an early article and I wanted to read it to get a sense of early criticism on the Juvenilia and just because it was so early and likely then very grounding in the research that followed, it just wasn't as interesting as the more recent articles I've read. So next, as I mentioned before, I like to do commonplacing every evening. Um, I know I talk about my commonplace book all of the time, but genuinely I just love it. And I love having a space where I can compile all of my thoughts about things and make sure that I don't lose any beautiful lines and ideas and thoughts um, which I come across. So I try to go through the books or articles or uh, just anything I've read that day and add things in and then here I'm just writing some daily reflections about broad things that I learnt that day or takeaways that I have from the day. And the next thing, the final thing that I would do before turning everything off and starting to get ready for bed is write my to-do list for the next day in my academic planner from Pumpkin Productivity. We do still have some of these available as well so take a look if you are interested in getting one. Before having my shower I like to tidy my room and also choose an outfit for the next day because I do not like choosing my outfit in the morning. I like to make as few decisions as possible in the morning because I really don't like making decisions. And then I will have a shower, of course I will brush my teeth and also do my skincare. And then this is a recent thing but because I have always wanted to learn how to French braid, this month I'm challenging myself every single night before bed to French braid my hair and it's not going to be perfect, I know it's not going to be perfect but my hope is that I will gradually get better and already I have noticed progress. I keep on leaving out just one strand. And then the final thing that I will do of course is read. I'm reading The Drownings at the moment and oh my gosh it's the perfect dark academia novel. It's just I love the atmosphere of it, I love the chilly prestigious university that it's set in. It's a book about female rage and the misogyny of academic institutions and it's set at this school where there have been a series of drownings, like all of these women have drowned over the hundreds of years that this school has been there and the protagonist Serena is investigating this and it's all situated within early modern witchcraft uh, contexts. Oh my gosh it's brilliant and if you're looking for a good read this autumn I would recommend because I could hardly put this down and it was very difficult to put it down so I could actually go to sleep. But anyway thank you so much for watching my night routine and I hope that you have more than just a productive week.